Starting and running a business is hard, but you don't have to do it alone. Whether you're an established business owner or thinking about starting a side hustle to earn extra income, I am here to teach you how to show up as your unfiltered self, level up your business, and thrive as a mompreneur. Let's embrace the chaos and start enjoying the journey together. I'm Amy Tra, and you're listening to the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Welcome back, everyone. I have a special guest with me today. I have Rachel of Northeast Ohio Myofascial Release. It's a mouthful. It's great to have you with us, Rachel. Rachel is one of our platinum sponsors for our upcoming event, Confident Cells. So I wanted to welcome her in and talk a little bit more about the amazing services that she offers because myofascial release is an incredible treatment technique. So for those of you that aren't familiar with it. We're going to dive a little bit more into that, learn about Rachel and everything she offers. So Rachel, why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Okay. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, My name is Rachel Pecora and I am the owner of Northeast Ohio Myofascial Release located in Canton. Um, And I am a massage therapist. I have been since 2007 And in 2018, I found uh, John Barnes myofascial release, and that is who I have been studying with since then. And uh, I have a practice that is just dedicated to myofascial release only. Um, I work with chronic pain clients, mostly um, people that have headaches, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, all kinds of pain. But uh, yeah, that is my my specialty. I love it. (laughs) So for those of our listeners that don't know what myofascial release is, tell us a little bit more about it. What's the difference between massage and myofascial release? So myofascial release uh, works with the fascial system. Our fascial system is a giant connective tissue. It's just one continuous 3D web that starts from our toes and continues up to our head. And it uh, surrounds our muscles and organs and bones and kind of holds us in place. Um, And it is covering the muscles and it covers everything. So it's not necessarily just working with muscles as massage would. Um, So the difference between the massage and uh, myofascial release is pretty much the time. So uh, the tissue is held in a position for an extended period of time. Um, and that time is what really creates changes in the body. Um, so maybe people aren't familiar since uh, they can't see what we're talking about, but fascia is kind of like um, an orange. If you were to look at an orange and that thick white part that is on the inside of the orange, that's kind of like our outer layer of fascia. And that would connect your um, skin to your body. And then if you open up that orange and you see the thinner lines of white through that orange, that would be your fascia that would run through different parts of your body and kind of connect the organs and connect your skin to muscles. And, you know, all of it kind of combines into like a a netting sort of. So the orange is kind of a good um, analogy to understand what it looks like because most people have no idea. What right. It is. Absolutely. Yeah. So is the treatment painful? Is it like a super aggressive technique, like a deep tissue massage or tell us a little bit no. more about the treatment. It is not a, a painful technique at all. It's very gentle. There are some areas that, you know, if we have um, restrictions in, it can be a little bit uncomfortable, but it should never be something where you can't breathe and hold your or you can't hold your breath, you know, you have to breathe. So um, it should be pretty gentle. Um, So it would be more of like a compressive feel on the tissue. Um, And what I would do is feel into it in a restriction that you would have in the tissue and then um, find that resistance in that tissue and then just kind of hang out and wait until that uh, resistance softens. And those resistant areas in the body are your fascial restrictions. That's incredible. And I love how you touch upon for people that have had chronic pain. And so many people are just, you know, thinking that, okay, I I just have to live with this. And to know that there's other treatment options available that aren't super aggressive, that are very gentle, 
I mean, that's, that's a wonderful resource to have. And tell us a little bit about the training that goes into it, because it's not just Joe Schmo can do this treatment technique. This is a very high level. You've had a lot of extensive training in it. So tell us more about that. Yeah. So I train with John Barnes. He's the founder, founding father of um, myofascial release approach. And he's been doing myofascial release oh, for 45 years now and training people. Um, so I have taken many of his courses outside of my uh courses that I took to become licensed as a massage therapist. So I have hundreds of hours in continuing education for specifically myofascial release. Um, and I continue to get treatment on myself that helps to do what I do better. Uh, so treatment is important for myself as well as continuing education. So I'm always traveling and taking more classes um, just to keep my skill level at the best because this work has been so helpful for so many people and for myself. So it's just important to get it out there so that people know that they don't have to live um, with pain that they've told that they had to live with forever. Or so many times I hear people say, oh, I'm just getting older. That's just part of getting old. It's like, no, it's not, that's not true. You don't have to have pain just because you're getting older. Um, you know, so many things are caused by traumatic events we've had in our lifetime that we may not even remember anymore. And the, the fascial system helps kind of uh, peel back those layers and really get to the root of the cause rather than just treating symptoms like traditional therapy would. So um, I think that this has been the, the best thing to help people stay pain-free, not just have temporary results, but really like start to get back to doing the things that they want to do. Um, and that's super important, like playing with your kids or, you know, yes. not having headaches all the time or um, that nagging neck pain that you're just like, oh, it's just, you know, I just have this neck pain and I just have to live with it. It's like, we feel like we have to have this stuff. Like, you know, I have pain. So <laughs> right, exactly. And that becomes yeah. part of your identity and it doesn't have to be that way. Right. You know, yeah. there are options available, but yeah. one of the things you mentioned, and I love how you touched upon this is how you yourself get treatments done because yeah. you know, we were talking about this before we started recording, how important the whole act of self-care is, whether, yeah. you know, no matter what your role in life is, yeah. if you're not taking care of yourself, how can you efficiently and effectively perform your job? be a better parent, you know, be playing with your kids, doing all the yeah. things in your day that you need to do. And that chronic pain, it wears you down it does. You know, day yeah. in and day out. If you're having headaches every single day, that gets exhausting. So yeah. the fact that you're taking the time to take care of yourself too is yeah. That's great. And I'm just so happy you mentioned that. So. Yeah. You know, I got into this work because I had chronic pain for years. Um, I've had a lot of uh, trauma in my life. I've had a lot of injuries, a lot of head injuries. Um, I've had car accidents, you know, you name it. So um, those things over time really just start stacking on to your body until you start having pain, you know, and if it's unresolved, it just gets worse and worse. And I was looking for something to not only help myself, but to help my clients. And when I found my fascial release, it was like the missing link for me. And I really think that it's the missing link in a lot of things for healthcare. Um, if our fascial system is open and can function properly, everything else in our body flows the way it needs to. So that makes so much sense. Yeah. So tell us more about your journey as a business owner. When did you officially open your own business? <sighs> well, I officially opened Northeast Ohio Mile Fascia Release as soon as the state let us open up in June of 2020. Mm -hmm. um, we had been shut down for a few weeks and I made a decision at that time that I was going to open my business and I knew I wanted to do this at some point, but, um, I just kind of got this push, you know, I think everything just <laughs> evolved how it was supposed to. So, um, I opened in, uh, 
June of 2020. And I've been rocking ever since. And it's been a wild ride. But, you know, if I did it during a pandemic, then I guess I could do it anytime, right? Exactly. So. <laughs> it's amazing when you think about it. I don't know. For me, that's that's when I started my first business was back during the pandemic. And yeah. Honestly, I think that pandemic was one of the biggest turning points for so many of us, because yeah. if it hadn't been for that, I wouldn't have taken the step back to just analyze life and, okay, why am I doing what I'm doing? Is yeah. this really what I truly want and need at the end of the day? And I'm just, in retrospect, it's, it was a blessing. It just yeah. was, it was like the universe's way of saying, Hey, wake up. There's more to life than just going through the motions. I don't know if you feel that way too, but yeah, yeah it was an eye opening experience for sure. Yeah. I think it's just, um, we didn't, you know, I didn't realize I knew what I wanted to do. I just wasn't sure how I was going to get there. And I thought, well, I'm kind of like halfway there. I had already been self-employed, but kind of working under someone else's business. And I just really needed to open my wings and, and, you know, try something. And it, it was received really well. So I'm so happy about that. But um, yeah, it, it just kind of makes you realize like, what, what do you really want to do? You know, exactly. life's too short to be scared of, the what ifs, you know, we have to take some risks sometime and um, exactly. just kind of jump in. <laughs> right. I mean, you, and the thing is, we all have a skill set that we can fall back on. Yeah. If you don't take that risk, we're just repeating the same motions over and over and you'll never know. So yeah. yeah is it scary? Absolutely. Could we yeah. fail? Sure. But if you don't take those steps, if we're not doing it scared, we're just going to be complacent. We're just living yeah. on autopilot. And I don't know, it, it's been incredible for me since I started my business to meet all these amazing entrepreneurs in the area. We have some incredible businesses around here. Yeah. And if we can bring small businesses together to support each other, we're not alone in this crazy world. We are in this together. So if I can support you and, you know, hey, it makes it so much better for everyone. Yeah. You never know who needs resources exactly. and there's always a exactly. network in those. So tell us more about where your business is located because you're right here in Stark County. I am. I am on Whipple Avenue. Uh, it's 4119 Whipple Avenue. And I'm actually on the corner of um, Whipple and Munson. So I'm near Planet Fitness on that corner. And I have a little um, small office that I have all to myself. And it is a great little little place. Yeah, right in the heart of Belden Village. I yeah. love it. Super yeah. convenient to the highway. So even if you're out of town, I mean, literally it's two minutes down the road off the, yep. the highway. So definitely be sure to check it out. You do have a website as well. What's your website? Yes, it's uh, neomyofascialrelease.com. Perfect. And we will link that in the show notes as well. And you are also on social media. What's your social handle? Yes, I can be found at Northeast Ohio Myofascial Release on Instagram and Facebook. Perfect. And Rachel's website is beautiful and has all sorts of information, more about myofascial release, what it is, who it benefits. So be sure to check that out. And then will you be joining us at our upcoming event, Confident Cells? Yes. All right. So if you'd like to learn even more, if you have questions for Rachel, she will be there. So definitely reach out and we can't wait. So Rachel, thank you so much for taking the time to thank you. chat with us about all the fabulous things that you offer. We do appreciate you and thank be you. sure to follow along with us on Instagram at the moms on a mission. We'll see you next time.